All righty. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of That's What She Said. Today, I'm very excited to be joined by the beautiful Sid Goodman. Hello. Hi. Hello. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in actually probably months now. Yeah, I think the last time we really saw each other and chatted was it was like a party at a really big house. Really? Yeah. Is it and bad like, that I don't remember? I'm like, and we'll, no, I'm like, wait a second. Like, I don't even remember what party it was, but like I, because you know we see each other, but usually yeah. it's at parties. And we're like, hi, yeah, and then you get pulled other directions. But I feel like we had like a solid sit down God. at whatever party that was. I don't know what party it was. Though. I have really bad memory, but I know that's true. I'm like, I know I always see you here at yeah. the compound, mm-hmm. like for those parties. But now I'm curious. I, I need to think through. Yeah. I don't go out. They that had much. McDonald's. I don't go out that <gasps> much either. Offline TV Anime Expo. There we go. That's all you had to say. There was McDonald's. Wow, what a powerful <laughs> sponsorship. Holy shit. The, wow, they're still making waves. To I know. Like, that party that was impact. insane. The, well, do you remember the house? And it was like, the house was very big, obviously. Mm-hmm. But then the backyard had like a bunch of different levels. It was probably like six different levels mm-hmm. to this backyard. And it was just staircase. It was like a whole hill, but each level was like a different thing. It was the craziest. Yeah. And the staircase was super sketchy and there weren't any lights on it. Yeah, I remember I thought I was going to fall a few mm-hmm. times. And then I finally, I like just parked myself down at the bottom and I was like, I whoever's yep. down here are my friends for the night. And yep. that's what it is. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to leave because I'm not taking these <laughs> stairs. No. I'm not risking it. We're like all in like high heels, like yeah. going to break an ankle. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Dang, that was a good, that was a good party. Yeah. Shout out really to them because that was, that was really fun. Um, before I get into Spicy Spinner, I was going to tell everyone the first time that we met actually was two year two years ago, I think. Was that two years ago? It has to have been. Three oh. years. No, it was three what years year ago. Is it? 2023? Yeah, three years ago yeah. for Creator Camp. Yeah, that was three years ago. Three That's years ago. Wild. was our first ever Creator Camp yeah. and you hosted it with mm-hmm. Will Neff. With Will. Mm-hmm. And that was so much fun. That Logan remembers. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was so hot though. It was. You literally stand outside and you just start sweating. So hot and it was so dusty. Oh, oh yeah. I remember we, we were like, where was it in California? Like, it was a bus ride. The, it was I far. It was, it was far. A, it was a few hours. The, oh yeah. It was bus, a far. It was but, a far. But away. it was like in the hundreds. Oh yeah. Oh, we were people. People had like heat stroke. We were like fanning off like sweet little Tina. I'm like, yeah. No, no. Yeah, Tina. That was when I met Tina for the first yeah. time too. Oh, it was so fun. Ew. We had the little cabins. It was, oh my God. That was, that was fun. Really, that was a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember I bought white cowboy boots and then we like <laughs> stepped on to the dust mm-hmm. and I was like, fuck. <laughs> Why did I wear these? And they're this just brown like, at that point. I oh, still yeah. haven't cleaned them because I think I will never get them clean enough no. where they make sense as white cowboy boots. So now they're kind of just. <laughs> Like my, beater shoes, you know? They're like my tan cowboy boots now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like an ombre effect where it's like, like go, clean at the top yeah, and like yeah. dirty. Yeah. That so that was that was the first time we met and you were mm-hmm. hosting Creator Camp with Will. And for the viewers um, who haven't met you here before, tell them a little bit about what you do in the space. Oh no. I feel like this is always a really hard question. I don't no! know if when you get asked this question, you struggle with it. Because I feel like it's like, uh, well, you I do a, well, I feel like you, you do, do a lot, lot of things. You do a lot. I don't do anything. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just pretty much this. I just sit around. <laughs> well, so I'm a, how we met. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of a host by trade. And I feel like that's how I entered the industry. Like, if you want, like, the really, the longer version of it is that I actually started in, like, social strategy and video mm-hmm. strategy. Um, and so out of college, well, I started streaming in college. I was a Destiny streamer. That was, like, my very first Ooh, thing. Oh, okay. Which I feel like people don't really realized that I started on Twitch like Mm -hmm. that was I was a bio major I was going to be a doctor and then I was streaming and then I ended up getting a job at Red Bull Media House Mm -hmm. through Destiny so then I worked on that partnership for a while ended up doing video strategy for them for everything like action sports and esports and then I went to BuzzFeed and you didn't ask for this I'm just no 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 this is like (laughs) quite literally what I wanted to hear because I've never like heard your entire timeline but I know that you've like done so much in your been around the block for sure it makes me feel like I'm like the grandmother no you are not video games (laughs) at this point um but so yeah I was at BuzzFeed for a while doing video strategy Mm -hmm. um because back in the day, I think they still have all those channels, but BuzzFeed was, like, really cooking. Oh, yeah. BuzzFeed was, like, the 
yeah. everything back and in the day. They had insane output at that point. Um, so I was on the team that came up with the video ideas and was kind of like the creative director across um, certain channels. Cool. And so the channel that I was helping grow was their um, – had gaming as part of it. Oh, cool. Yeah. And since I was kind of one of, like, six people at BuzzFeed who knew how to make gaming content, <laughs> yep. I started making gaming content instead of doing strategy. Mm -hmm. And then the Game Awards reached out and um, asked me to host something for them. And that was the first time I ever hosted anything. Really? Was that yeah. the Game Awards? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes. It was really scary. <laughs> Oh my God! What a first! Yeah. What a first gig to have as a host. Yeah, I don't know. That was one of those things where I think it's like right place, right time mm -hmm. sort of a thing. I'd been around the industry, so I had known Jeff Keeley, who puts on yeah. the Game Awards. I had met him a few times, um, and then like Fuez, yeah, I think was actually how I knew Jeff. Yeah. So just like by knowing people in the industry, right. they were aware of me. Yeah. And then I guess somebody, I heard the story after the fact, but I think one of the PAs. Um, who, when they were looking for a backstage host, and I mean, like, I wasn't doing anything spectacular. I literally was reading about, like, eBay deals. <laughs> but um, still, you're but, talking in front of so many people. Yes. Yeah. But so, so they were like, we need somebody to do this. And somebody watched my streams. And they are like, oh, I think <gasps> she'd be really good for this. Oh. And so whoever that random person what? is, thank you, <laughs> because you literally started my career. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And then I realized I liked doing that more than doing video strategy at yeah. BuzzFeed. Um, and so I was looking for hosting jobs in gaming and IGN actually ended up having an opening that was in LA, which is a really big deal because right. IGN is based out of San Francisco and I did not want to move to San Francisco. Oh yeah. No, not for me. No, no, nope. San Francisco. Not well, for I was going to say for some people, maybe, but I, I think know some it's more universal it. at this point that I don't think people love living in San Francisco at no. this <laughs> at this junction of time no you can pay me you cannot pay me <laughs> um yeah so I, I was in LA this whole time got the job at IGN and then I was at IGN for like three years where I hosted the daily fix um and like I hosted wrote produced that and like made other content and that was a daily gaming news show yeah and then um left IGN and then I've been doing freelance hosting and since I left IGN I've been like working more to spend more time like as a content creator. Yeah. So I'd say I'm a host and content creator I think is like the mo the succinct version. Yeah, absolutely. Of the answer. Well, and most recently a podcast host. Most recently yeah. a podcast I looked at you was like, <laughs> yeah, the like most what else did I, do? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yes, and then I started yes. my own podcast. Yay. Um it's called Glad I Asked. Oh, Cute. Really excited because you're gonna be on. Yes, we're like doing like a trade Z. We're like, yeah. okay, come on mine, I'll go on yours. What is that like the like for like or whatever when people yeah. used to comment yes. that on people's like Instagram? Follow for follow. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So glad I asked is a podcast that came out of I. I feel like what I'm really fascinated by is how people create lives that they're excited to be living mm -hmm. because I think it's a series of small decisions. It's not typically like, oh, I really don't like where I am in my life. And then you flip a switch and all of a sudden everything's great and you're super right. happy. So it's just talking to people who like I admire, like yourself, who oh, have like, stop it. Yeah, <laughs> who have, like created lives so that, you know, you wake up and yeah. maybe not every day is like 100%. <laughs> well, <hold on>. That's <laughs> just not realistic. But you, mm -hmm. you're more, you're so excited about what you have going on, yeah. um, and just like getting to the bottom of that. Absolutely. So it, it's funny because it started as a podcast that I wanted, I wanted creatives and people who were maybe like, you know, their name mm -hmm. and they're known for something. Um, so, for example, like you're known in the gaming space, and I wanted to give a place for people to come on and talk about their other yeah, loves. Absolutely. And while that's still totally what happens, I found that most people end up talking about their work. Yeah. Which oh, is yeah. interesting because I think as creatives, we're so lucky. Uh, creatives who like can pay their bills being creative. Right, right. Yeah, no. <laughs> but it's it it consumes almost every exactly. minute of your life. Mm -hmm. So people are like ultimately always circle back to it. I yeah. Even when people come over to like the house to hang out, you know, whatever, catching up, how are you? Great. It always circles back. Oh, yeah. how about this video I filmed? How about, uh, it's like, you're not working. We shouldn't be talking about work. But everyone circles back to no, it. No, exactly. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting because, like, um, my boyfriend, Brandon, is also a content creator. Yeah. And do you know Brandon? Yeah. We, okay. did, we did Pokemon. Oh, you we did, did that Pokemon video. here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we okay. opened 
Were you there, Logan? We opened. I don't think the so. The Pokemon. The packs. The packs. I'm I remember we, we did about. that. It was like a live stream, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like yeah, a live yeah. stream. It was yeah. like a okay. year or two ago, I think. Okay, well, mm-hmm. so my boyfriend Brandon, he is a content creator, and it's funny because when we first started dating, oh, this. Okay, I Ooh, see. I see where we're going. I see where we're going. Um, <laughs> so when we our first date, I met him through Noah. Everything's so and connected. That's when I, that's <laughs> when I, yeah, because Noah was doing the packs with us. Yeah, so yeah. I met him through Noah, who's one of my best friends <laughs> yes. now. And it's so funny because I knew him before the cre- the uh, creator camp. Right. But, like, we had done a shoot a couple years ago. And then at creator camp, we kind of, like, you know, because when you do a shoot, people are really nice. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, cool. But you're not necessarily, like – spending like five no. days with each other like creator we were like us. camping together like we, yeah we were, we were all stuck with each other and so Noah and I became super close at that and then now he's one of my closest friends oh. and um last year at Second Sky which mm-hmm. is like Porter Robinson's yeah. music festival yeah. he had a group going and asked me if I wanted to go and then Brandon was there and we, that's how we met Oh my god. So Noah, like little matchmaker. He said what? that he did that on purpose. Circle. But I don't think he did. It just happened to happen. I think it just happened. He's like, but. he's like, oh, I'm taking credit for that he's one. He's definitely for like, sure. oh, well, we were the only two single people. Oh, well, so then like, maybe, maybe he did do it on purpose. But I just don't think he has that foresight. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're real. It's, it, no, probably not, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but anyway, so blah, blah, blah. Fast forward, we went on our first date. And I was like very transparent with him. I was like, listen, I have kind of like three issues potential issues with this and I want to be up front yeah. because we have we obviously have mutual right. friends I don't want this to get confusing yeah. and like I'm down to keep seeing each other but like <laughs> I was concerned with how young he was how young is he he's 25 and I'm okay. 29 which it doesn't That's not terrible doesn't really matter but I just knew that I like wanted somebody if I was going to put time into something we're serious well, about yeah, like if I was gonna be more serious yeah. with somebody, which I was going to, if it was somebody from like my friend group, yeah, then I didn't want to like babysit somebody. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, like 100%. I'm like not gonna teach you the way of the world. Mm-hmm. Like you should do that before. Yeah, we start yeah, dating. before. There's um, and then there's me and Mason. I'm like, <laughs> Mason literally didn't leave the house before we started dating. <laughs> but I think then it's like you. Like, but I was so young. You at the grow same time. together, right? Yeah. Like you grow up together. I think there's kind of like two versions that. Right. I mean, obviously, there's more than two versions that can work. Yeah. But I think it's like fun if you grow up together or yeah. you kind of come together and like grow. But it's not like. But you have to be in that same time of your life, kind of. Yes, exactly. And, like, you need to, like, want that and not, like, if I was, like, right now in my life and Mason was how he was when we first met, (laughs) hell no. Exactly. You have to be on the same page. So I, like, was kind of making sure we were on the same page, but we went on this long tangent for me to say, part of it was I was, like, I'm not crazy that you're a content creator. Yeah. Because, like, I didn't want, you know, the space is so small. I totally get it. I totally get it. And, like, I didn't want to talk about work all the time. We talk about work. All the time. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's kind of the best. Yeah, I don't know if you and Mason because you get to you get to have those like really honest conversations where mm-hmm. like sometimes you can't say that to other people or like yeah or you know like you feel like you have to like watch you know like when it comes down to like well should I do this I don't think this is a good idea like you can be so mm-hmm. open with that person and kind of really bounce ideas off of each exactly. other like brainstorming super yeah. fun and I think like you were saying the. The hard hardships of being a content creator mm-hmm. are like very specific and very champagne problem sounding. Oh my god! And so if you're trying to explain to somebody who isn't a content creator, I totally understand how it can come off because it's ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous, but like it's such a but, but it's it still real. bothers you. But it's, it's not really you, right? We we talk about this all the time. I'm like, it comes across so. Woe is me. My life is so hard. I have to mm-hmm. get up and play video games every day. But there are those struggles that come with it. And you can't like you can't invalidate those struggles just because other people might have it worse or you know exactly. or whatever. Which but, is perhaps true as well. Like it all can exist in the same space. As right? someone who's like worked a job before and worked video games. <laughs> yeah. I want to work video games, you know? Totally. I would choose this every single time. Absolutely. But there's also like sometimes it's like, oh, sad, yeah. like like 5,000 less people watch my Snapchat, you know? <laughs> yeah, like that right. sounds like, like a ridiculous thing for because you, like, it kind what? of is, but that's just because it's kind of ridiculous that this exists as a real like ridiculous being like yeah. the coolest thing ever. And, and numbers is so everything is based on numbers yeah. and you put I, for the longest time, put my self-worth in numbers. And so Mm. it's like, it sounds so trivial. Like, no, I don't have viewers anymore. My views are down, all this. It sounds so like, okay, who cares? But like, when you put your worth into like, 
well, no one cares about me anymore. No one, no one, you know, I fell off. No one wants to watch my stuff. They don't yeah. think I'm this. It's like you kind of get way too in your head about it. And especially when, like we said, you get together with your friends and everyone's mm-hmm. talking about it. So it's hard yeah. when it's like you feel like everyone else around you is doing really good and maybe you're not. It's like then then going and hanging out with your friends is a bummer. Then it just kind of spirals into this yeah. really toxic mindset. Well, and so it's really nice to have like to have somebody that's like so close to you, yeah. like the person that you're dating. Absolutely. To be able to have that conversation. You don't have to like watch what you're and saying. And they're not going to laugh or, at you or make you yeah. be like, well, I don't really care because that's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. So that's been like an unexpected, really great thing yeah. about content creators, I guess. Yeah. Dating. Dating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a lot of like not good things about it. So yeah. you got to find those positives, yeah. you know, which I... I love looking totally. on the bright side. Always look on the bright side. And speaking of the bright side, I'm, I'm bringing out the spicy spinner because I forgot. The spicy spinner. <laughs> I like the name. Spicy the spinner. You know, just okay. get a little a little spice going with the wheel. Ooh. So feel okay. free to spin. Ooh, I get to spin Oh, it. you get to choose your own fate. Okay, this is fun. You get to choose And I feel fate. like I'm just waiting for somebody to tell me what it is because I can't quite see I know. It. Let me see. <laughs> Worst date story. <laughs> okay, we can change it. If no, it's no, terrible. no. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Okay, worst date story, girl. I'll take it away. That's all you. Okay, worst date story. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. Yeah, I'm trying to think because I feel like, like, what is a worst date story? Is it that the actual date was bad, or is it like the date was good and then they ghosted you? Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, what is a yeah. worst? What yeah, is I mean, a like, worst sometimes date? That, sometimes that's <laughs> worse. You know you're like, yeah, exactly. It's like, like if it's like, wait, like you really, inv- I was really invested after this. Well, we were speaking of um, Olivia Rodrigo earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was that one like line in her song that says something like. Oh, I don't know. I just keep seeing the social suicide. <laughs> There's, one, yeah. so <laughs> <good. laughs> There's one line where it like talks about like, oh, it's love is embarrassing. Oh, where yeah. she's like, it's been a week and she's like in love with this oh, guy. No. Oh, and my it's like gosh. one week and how she's like real in the future. <laughs> yeah. Truly, how real is that? <laughs> That's like what. So I feel like when I think of worst date stories, <laughs> it ends up kind of being me being an idiot and like falling in love with people after like three minutes. <laughs> I I really think that, <laughs> like, that is so relatable for so many. I don't know about guys, but girls out there. Yeah. Well, because the bar is so low. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like he like smiles at you and you're like. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh so my gosh. okay, worst date story is actually yeah. this is just like slandering myself because Go it's, for it. Uh, even better. Okay. <laughs> like it w- I knew what it was before mm-hmm. it came in cuz I feel like I have a good gut feeling and mm-hmm. I had I had a bad gut feeling going into this. Yeah. Basically what happened was this guy met him on Hinge and he was like way too smooth, which I feel like is just bad huge. Sign, right? bad when it's sign. like they're quipping back and forth nope. and you're like, wow, this is so fun and sexy and whatever. And then they do it like, too much. Yeah. You're like, wait a minute. He's practiced. Why do you know how to do this <laughs> yeah. so well? Like, what are you doing? No, no, no. <laughs> right? No, he's practiced. Exactly. Oh, what he said. Yeah. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? I can't remember what he said, but it was so ridiculous. It was something along the lines of like, like, it was just, I, oh, I wish I could remember. It was, like, <laughs> so quippy. And it was, like, well, what are you doing on Thursday? Ooh, and I was, like, like okay, um, <laughs> I don't know. What? He's, like, going on a date with me. And I was, like, ooh. Ah. But and then you're, like, like ah. yeah, I was, like, wait a minute. But, okay. Like, He's, this like, because be I'm taking on Wednesday and Friday. I already have dates on Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, like, so literally Thursday's the only day because my Thursday canceled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, though, so. I was, like, okay, sick. Cool. So, and then he did the little, like, um, the little, when you're texting back and forth, he's like, oh, like, we should stop texting because I don't want to burn through too many topics before our date. And really? you're like, oh my gosh, she's thinking ahead. So, like, he can't wait to meet me. He's too busy texting his other girls. <laughs> no, exactly. He's like, sending all- he's like, I can't keep track of all my conversations right now. No, exa- that's like the closed captioning, right? And uh, But little old me is like, ooh, okay, like, Wow. He doesn't want to talk to me until like, the date. Yeah, that's like he's so interested in me. <laughs> so um I was at the Getty Museum. Oh which I was like, wow, a man of culture. Right. Um he actually he lived like five minutes from there. So it's like, no, no, no. You just didn't want to drive down the 405. Like <laughs> so there like the more that I just think about this, it's just red flag mm. after flag after flag. <laughs> so this guy, he's like, 
But he kept texting me about how nervous he was, which I thought was so weird. Why are you telling me about this? Because he was like this? so smooth too. It's like, well, oh, no, he's that confident. Was the thing. I was like, you're not nervous. Nervous <laughs> people don't text like this. He was like, I'm just like so nervous. Oh no. And I was like, okay, like you don't. And I called him out. I was like, you don't seem very nervous. Like this is a weird thing to keep telling me. And he was like, no, no, no. I'm like really shy. And I was like, you don't seem, like, I'm so confused. Why, why are you telling me this? I literally like, said just that. Show and he was up just like, and like, just be shy. If you're, I don't get why you're yeah, you don't like, have to, like tell me. out with me. Yeah. Right. So he's like, oh, I'm so shy. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the get, have you been to the Getty? I haven't actually. Oh, I need you, to go. You and Mason should go. It's like I a know. really cute little date moment. Do you think that's the best? Sorry, so I'll no. go back. It, what's the best like museum to go to? Because we want to do a museum Ooh. date. You should do the Getty Villa. So it it depends Getty what Villa. you want out of a museum, but the Getty Villa I think is like very beautiful. Okay, it's like more that. of an estate, I guess. Yeah. Where the Getty is cool and there's a lot to see, but mm -hmm. I I actually think it's kind of overwhelming. Yeah. There's just because there's much. so much. Yeah. So I usually will just like pick a building and do that building. Yeah. And then the garden's very beautiful. <gasps> and there's a great view. So I don't think Perfect. you go wrong with either Getty. Okay. Yeah. Got it. The Getty's great. great. And then the Broad, if you like modern art, I think has a great my collection. Sister, my sister came and visited and she went there by herself. I was like, okay, bye. Yeah. No, she it's loved a great it. collection. <laughs> it's just <laughs> ran. It's just flick random. Where's it? What's far. the one with the dinosaur? La Brea Tar Pits. I've never La been Brea to the La Brea. I've never been there. Is it good? I haven't either. So maybe maybe that's the I'm best a, I'm one. I'm a dinosaur girly. I want to. Oh, see. <laughs> you should go there then. I want to see that one because it's very Jurassic, from what I hear. Oh yeah, that's what, okay. And historical. So maybe go. Yeah, go to that one. Report back. Maybe I'll do a, I'll do two in one day. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. Get back to your. That's why not waste. No, 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 I like that. I like that. Let's go. Okay. okay so he's five minutes from. So he's, five, he's, he's like five minutes from the Getty. But so yeah. the Getty, you park, and then there's kind of a tram that you take like all the way up. Oh wow. And so, um, like, from the the bottom. Yeah. And he was going to meet me at the top of the tram, right? Okay. It, I can't believe I'm telling – this is such an embarrassing story on our <laughs> no, part. I can't, it's no. so out of character and out of pocket, <laughs> and it's just so embarrassing. Um, I, like, I should be putting some dude on blast. Like, I'm putting myself on blast <laughs> instead. <laughs> so he, like, tells me, oh, I'm getting there early because I need to collect myself. <gasps> Because he's, like, so shy. Who says that? Again, this all was me kind of going, like, you, well, I don't know. Were you ever on dating apps? I feel like you and Mason started dating, like, so I was early. Like, yeah. I, okay. I was, like, they, 21. So. I think there's there's good and bad. Yeah. But sometimes you just hit a point where you're just, like, fuck it. Yeah. Let's just make something work. Yeah. You know? like, like, why not? <laughs> like, I'm just going to show up to this date and see what happens. <laughs> And so, like, at this point, I'm kind of thinking, this guy's kind of a weirdo. Why do you keep telling me? To collect myself. Yeah, like, just do that then. Why are you texting me? You tell me, me about that. It? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, would you ever text a guy that you're about God, to go on a no. date? What's happening? No. So he's like, I got there early. Like, don't worry about it. I'll meet you at the top of the tram. And I'm thinking, sure, okay. So I get it. I'm riding the tram by myself. I'm obviously really nervous because yeah. you're meeting somebody you've never met before. I yeah. get off the tram and he, like, stands up. And he's like, <laughs> oh, no, he goes, oh, my gosh. Wow. You're so beautiful. I wouldn't have guessed that from the pictures. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, he did not. <laughs> yes, Brooke. I'm not lying. It, I, my jaw dropped and I was just like, oh. I want to turn around so bad. What's happening? Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I would cry on the spot. I'd be like, you fucking asshole. I, I literally okay, didn't I've seen photos like, of you. You are so, oh, so nice. She's like so photogenic too. She's beautiful in person and in oh, photos. Thank you. Oh, and is so, this guy like a he's male like model? This as he, that's okay. That's the thing. He was tall. <laughs> you gotta be more than tall. You gotta be more than tall. He was tall and he, he was half Lebanese and he was very good looking ish. If you squint. If you squint. If you squint. If you squint. Like for context. But don't be shit talking her. <laughs> for context. I know you haven't been, Have you seen anybody's like hinge profiles like yeah. you get the vibe oh yeah my friends okay. i'm like no okay, no so you get the vibe like <laughs> yeah. if they're hot they're gonna show that they're hot right like this yeah. guy all those photos were like artistically blurry you know what i mean oh, so you had like so you're like i didn't I don't really know, know what i was getting that. into and it's like if you were really like not that i think anybody should ever say that to somebody but if you're really hot enough to think that it's okay to utter that out of your mouth. Uh, yeah. Like, you wouldn't have blurry artistic photos <laughs> on your hinge profile. Like, I'm just saying. Yeah, I shouldn't have to, like, 
try to figure out what you look like when I'm like looking at a picture exactly. of you. Exactly. It should be a little bit more clear. I but, can't so believe he that. like is saying that as he's going in for a hug and I was just honestly I was shocked. Yeah. Shocked. Yeah. <laughs> So against my better judgment, we continue this date. He's <laughs> like, okay, I want to go into this hallway or whatever. So we're going and we're like talking and like he was being all flirty or whatever. And I don't know what fucking spell this man did before he showed up to the Getty. But I suddenly like, forgot that he said that to me, I guess. <laughs> and was very just like smitten. You're like, oh, he's perfect. No, I was like, wow, he likes art. And literally his comments were like, wow, like the use of negative space. It's like, oh, oh so you have fucking eyes. I like went like, to, I don't, like, like it was nothing. Like that he, was, he did like art in like sixth grade. No, like, exactly, school. exactly. And then he like starts being interesting and is like, oh yeah, I, um, I was like, my mom, well, I ask, oh yeah, what do you do for work? Mm -hmm. And I get it because also we're both two people free at like 2.30 on a Thursday. So (laughs) like, like you know, something's up. Yeah. And I, yeah, I'm like giving him the benefit of the doubt because it's like, you're probably confused why I'm not working as well. And so I'm like, yeah, what do you do for work? And he's like, oh, like I sold a company or something. He's like, so I'm taking some time. And then like the truth comes out. Like I, I'm sure maybe he sold a company like yeah. to his parents or something. But all of a sudden he's like, oh yeah, my mom, she, he literally would not name the, his mom's name, but he was like, my mom was like super famous in the eighties. And so, um, is he like a Nepo baby? Yes. No clue. He would not share who, who his mother was. I did not get that information out of him, but he was absolutely a Nepo baby. He owned his home in, <laughs> In, um, I mean, I shouldn't like dox this guy, but he owned his home over there. On this street? And the- yeah. His address is, and his phone number. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm like, maybe he bought it by selling this company no. that existed for like a year and a half. But I actually think perhaps it went under and his mom bought Just his like, home. He bought his house. <laughs> like, I don't know. If I was a Nepo baby, I'd be screaming it from the rooftops. Right? You gotta, like, I feel like the only way to like, you just have to own it and like totally. make jokes about it, and then it's like it's not a thing. Oh my god, they're so funny! And like that's like good when they well, try to be like I'm just like more than like my parents like made me. I'm like uh, okay. Well, and I feel like whenever <laughs> nepo babies like try to relate, they're like, oh yeah, like I like can't buy groceries either, and it's like <laughs> no, you actually can. And they're like, oh well, it's my parents' money. And it's like <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. Doesn't matter to me. And I'm no. saying this. I can buy groceries for what it's yeah. worth. I'm not going to pretend I can't buy groceries. Yeah. <laughs> like I love an Erewhon smoothie. Oh my um, god. I'm embarrassed to admit that I am like a full Erewhon cult girl. I was just talking about Erewhon because I've never even been. <gasps> Brooke, we should go. Oh my! When you okay, come to yo, my you podcast, know, we're no, gonna you want to know a fun fact about me? This is why I've never been. You don't like vegetables. No. Actually, I don't like. Fr- yes. I have a fear of fruits. I, I like That's vegetables. It. I am. I have a fear of fruits. Okay. There's like too many fruits for you. No, like I have like a phobia if it's like a fruit. I'm like scared. But of I, it or yeah. eating it, but all of it. So like looking at it, I want to be very respectful. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you can laugh. You can. But laugh. like, if somebody like threw a banana at you, I'd how would you probably react? cry? Wow, Maybe. where did that originate? I just always have. Ever since I was little. Oh, interesting. It's so weird. My like, therapist what's your earliest... trying to like get into it. Yeah, wait, what's your earliest <laughs> my memory of... Me <laughs> I've gone through... I love therapy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love my therapy. Wait, so like what's your earliest know. memory of a fear of fruit? I Like the first time that you were afraid of it. I don't even... I think like even my mom was like, once you're old enough to be like, no, I don't want that. Like, and they were just like, okay. And so, and then it just like became such a habit and I just... Never had it. And then. So you won't go to Erewhon. Maybe you won't like Erewhon. No, well, I also, no, I would hate Erewhon. I think I haven't set foot in a grocery store in five years. How? Because I Uber Just like eats Instacart. everything. <laughs> wow. I Uber eats everything. Or I Instacart it. Or Mason goes. Or like, Honestly, that's impressive. I have not been in a grocery store in five years. Wow. This and life was made me. for you. Bro. I really was. I Your life of I fame. Am LA, thank you to Uber Eats. Thank you to Instacart. You guys have changed my life. Wow. <laughs> like, why? They should. You talk. should, honestly, why you should capitalize on me? that. No, you get that sponsorship. Wait until that contract runs out and then go after a grocery store chain and do a collaboration and do like a whole video series of you breaking your fear and like stepping foot into their grocery store and you become a spokesperson oh my God. for that grocery store. Oh my God. Or you make your own chain of grocery stores. Oh my God for catering to people who have fears of grocery stores. Either I, there's, or. There's, there has to be people out there that are afraid of grocery stores like me, right? <laughs> so someone, there's gotta be one person. <laughs> I'm sure there's at least like one other in this person. Room, okay? there's, like, there's, there's like eight of us in here, really guys? All hundreds of you throughout the globe can band together. All 50 of us, <laughs> <Yeah>. let's go. 
<laughs> um, oh but anyways, I don't remember why we were talking about this, but this <laughs> man. Either. Oh, Nepo babies. Nepo babies. So this man was clearly a Nepo baby. And I think maybe that's why he was, one, so weird. And two, like, <sighs> so just not Rude. working on the same planet as everybody else. <sighs> Um, so we were looking at the art. He like said something quasi insightful uh-huh. and I was kind of like, oh, wow. Like he's deep. He's a genius. And then like he makes first move. So he like goes, this is so okay. Cause I've really set this guy up to be a complete idiot and he was, <laughs> but like what comes next will surprise you. Oh, no. <laughs> what comes <laughs> next will. <laughs> no, but truly like, it's so embarrassing on my end. Cause like. I'll just say I was coming. I was in a fragile state. Okay. Yeah, it happens. It, Everyone's it happens been there. The Everyone's been there. Us. But so he like goes to hold my hand. And I'm like, okay. And so like we're holding hands. Cute. Whatever. No, yeah. who cares? And then he's like, "There's a bench down there." Which also, motherfucker, how do you know there's a secluded bench over there? How many <gasps> How many dates have you taken here? How would he know? Just wondering. How, how would, would you know? know? How would you know? How would you know? How would you know about the secluded bench? Hmm. Something's a little fishy. His family owns the Getty. <laughs> He's actually a Getty. He's a Getty. <laughs> can, we, can we get research on that? Can somebody Google the Getty family? And can we like roll through that? Um, right? <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, so he's like, oh, there's this bench or whatever. So we like looked at this painting for five minutes and then he takes me to this bench and just starts fucking macking on me. No. And I'm macking back. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we're macking together. And then in broad daylight, he grabbed my boob. At the Getty Museum? At the Getty Museum. In broad at the Getty daylight. Museum? I know this man for 20 minutes. <laughs> And I looked at him. I like pulled back and I looked at him. I was like, what the fuck? Ugh. I was like, I thought you were nervous. He was like, nervous guys still like boobs. Or he said like oh some stupid god. shit. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Especially after you stepping off the chair. We're way prettier in person or whatever he said. That's so <laughs> That's so bad. You, I can't not. And, well, wait, this is where it gets worse because I didn't just leave. The way that I said, what? okay, the way that I said, what's the worst date story? And she was like, I don't really know if I have, like, a worst date story. <laughs> this sounds pretty bad. <laughs> well, because, like I said, this is, like, it's embarrassing because, like, I went on a second date. <gasps> no! The, the same guy? This guy? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. I don't think my standards even, are really high now. Everybody, ask my boyfriend. I don't They're think super that we've high. ever had someone come on here, tell their worst date story, <laughs> and then say they went on a second date with the person. I think that might be a yeah. first. No, that that's pretty, well. And the worst part was speechless. there was like no recovery. He was just a really good kisser. Sometimes it's just not enough. It was just you know like. And I had a lot of free time. <laughs> what else? I mean, what else are you going to do? What else is, like, I, I wanted to figure out who his mom was. was. The- <laughs> like, it just, like, there was a lot of reasons to, like, keeping you in it. Keep it in. Where well, was the second date? Oh, I'm trying the to Getty. Think. It was. <laughs> he gets getting again. He gets free admission because his family owns it. <laughs> yeah. No, because he's a frequent. Like he's there so often. They're like, oh, you're bringing in girls all the time. Like you actually get a lifetime pass. Oh. I actually think the Getty's free. So that's the other oh. thing. He didn't even. He didn't even pay for the first date. The Getty's free. <sighs> okay. Really, dude? So, like, not long after the boob situation, I'm like, I need to leave. Yeah. And he's like, okay. So, he walks me to my car. And so, we have to take the little thing all the way down. Yeah. He walks me to my car. And I really, I want to play. I want to lie so bad, you guys. I want to play this so cool and be like, <laughs> yeah. And, like, we weren't holding hands the entire time that you walked me down to my car and, like, doing whatever. But, like, unfortunately, like, I don't. I, I can't say that. So he walks me to my car and he like insists on paying for my $3 parking. Oh, and he's like, no, right. and Brooke, but that's the I problem. Insist. I was like, I insist. wow. <laughs> what a guy. He, he's like, stop. I got this. No, that truly is. I was like, just going to pay for it. And he was like, no, like I couldn't buy your ticket because it was free. So <laughs> I'll pay for your parking. You said $3. And I, and I was like, wow, that's like. Really That's nice. That's really cool. That's it's so really sweet. cool of you. So he takes, she drops me out of my car or like walks me to it and then like gives me a little like peck or whatever. And then I'm like, dri- I'm like driving away and this grown man, this grown man, he's like, I don't remember what he was wearing, but just like picture like, I don't know, jeans, t shirt. Yeah. Like he's like, 
full grown man. I think he might have had a mustache. I don't really remember. Yeah. But like he looks like a full. He pays taxes. Yeah. You know? So he's a, he's a grown ass man. He goes, <gasps> Oh. <laughs> Ew, I said shivers up my spine. <laughs> He, 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 I literally like almost like, crashed my car because I could not believe that he just did that. And I was like, I thought you were shy. Like, what's happening? And you went on a second date? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. After I, the I, boob, the tram incident, and the and the blowing the kiss? Yeah, I don't know why. And the bench? And the bench. I don't know. I truly don't. He was oh really good at texting. Like, he was like, like very yeah. suave, you yeah. know? I don't remember what it was. But somehow I ended up like a week or so later. And so, you know, it was out of my brain. Yeah. Like, I like forgot how bad it was. Maybe. She's like, yeah, we can go on another date. <laughs> and the other date was like really bad. So that was the that end was of it. that. Wow. I wish. That wasn't the he end He ghosted of it? me. Oh. Girl. <laughs> you tried to keep me going. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, it oh was my just god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Thank God that you are in such a better place now. Why? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Why? I don't remember. Okay, to be fair, he was like one of the first people I went on a date with. Yeah. So some that like so I Yeah, I mean that's I fair. like went through a breakup. Yeah. Which was like, like a legal breakup. They call yeah. it a divorce in the California state yes, law. Yeah. Um and this was like one of maybe my first five dates after that. Yeah. Like, so I was kind of just like like I what obviously was not looking for somebody to treat me no. right necessarily. I was kind of just rolling with the punches. Yeah. And like and he was punching. He was punching. He was not punching. literally, but you know. But that, that was definitely quite throw the in date. verbal daggers. So, oh my god. Um. Yeah, that was my worst. My worst date. Holy shit. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's so embarrassing. But you know what? Now you now look at where you are and how happy you I are. I'm so happy. You're so I'm the happiest happy. I've ever been. It's so sweet. Oh my god. And is- well, I mean, again, not okay. I'm just gonna give one last defense for myself. <laughs> <laughs> He was really good at talking. Yeah. And he was like gentleman. Like he knew how to play the game because he was like gentlemanly yeah. enough, you know? Yeah. And so all the other dates you're going on, it's like they don't know how to open doors for you. They're like yeah. kind of stingy. They're not paying for things. Like, <laughs> like they like don't know when you text each other. It's like, hi, hi. How's your day? What's up? Good. Where well, like it was yeah. like fun. Yeah. You it was know? Like conversation. Yeah. It was like minorly traumatic, but it was also <laughs> fun. <laughs> So did he seem nervous on the dates? No. No. Like Absolutely. Like when you were with him? No. He went for boob. So he, lied. he went no for shot. boob. No after one, 20 minutes. No one who's nervous goes and for like, boob. And like I wasn't wearing a shirt that was readily accessible, you know? <laughs> it was like, not had to like those. really work for it. <laughs> you cannot. You had to work for it. <laughs> you know? Like it's like it wasn't low. Totally. I want to say it was like a like it was, like, it was like a high <laughs> neck. It was a mock <laughs> neck. It was a black mock neck. Oh my God. That's right. Like a turtleneck, you're like, okay. <laughs> I'm up there. I, I can't. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Speaking next of question. <laughs> next question, she says. <laughs> well, we were talking a little bit before mm. and I I was like, stop, I gotta stop. Because I always fly through all my topics. Yeah. This has been like an insane week for like pop culture. Pop culture. <sighs> it's just popping off. So I even like made a little list. I'm like, let's let's like speed walk. Let's just yeah. Run it because run it. there's so much going on. Perfect. First and foremost, new Olivia Rodrigo album. Oh my gosh. Obsessed. It's so good. It is so it's good, you guys. So good. Okay, have you, were you like into Freaky Friday at all, the Lindsay Lohan yeah. movie? Was I into Freaky Friday? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it feels like it does. Freaky, like it lives in the universe of Freaky Friday. It's so fun. It's and a like, teen movie, fun, rock. Like mm-hmm. it is. And then the sad songs are like, so sad and so good. Well, we were talking about how we like kind of can't relate because we're both in we're like happy too old. relationships. And we're like, oh, we're, oh, we're, too, I, I go, we're too old. I'm, I'm like, we're happy. We're, we are in like <laughs> happy relationships. So it's also like, I'm like, Mason, can you like start a fight with me real right? quick? Just like, like real fast. I just want to feel like this song to its full extent. Exactly. And so I'm kind of just like, okay, yeah, like I'd imagine I feel like really angsty if I was like, I'm sure I felt like this boyfriend. one time in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Like anthems. And thumbs. I already I, sang it earlier, but I, what's the one? It's like, wanna come up and die. Da, 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 da. It's like something homeschool, I think, is in the name. Ballad of a homeschooled girl. Yeah, yeah the, that yes, one. That I, that one's I think that's one. my favorite mm-hmm. one on the album. That one's really good. I like making the bed. Mm. I like um, 
Get Him Back is so catchy. So catchy. So catchy. I just, you gotta like bob your head to it. Like, I feel like all of it is really good driving songs. Yes. It, oh my God. You could, mm-hmm. I could just play that on repeat and just. Vampire. I know we already had Vampire, but like Vampire Amber Mae is so one good. of the best songs. I went to like, the release songs. party for that. Wait, so fun. She was right here. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my God. Ah, I'm like, you know, I'm a grown ass woman. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my God, it's Olivia. Like, like okay, Brooke, you're <laughs> like 25 years old. It's time to. Did you go to her <laughs> concert when she didn't she play in LA? Like, I didn't go. But, I didn't go either. But but I think that she's doing a tour oh. for this one, and I'm like, I will be there. <laughs> See, I, I feel like I'm so I'm curious who goes like what her clientele is. Oh, it's gonna be that me and like, like a 17 year old. What <laughs> she sound like a hooker. Well, clientele. What's what is that called? Clientele? Audience. <laughs> Audience. <laughs> clientele. <laughs> What's your clientele? But no. I feel like yeah, like that, like Do definitely because like if I was in high school junior high high school i would be all over this oh, shit. oh my god I'd like, you're the only one who understands you know but i mean i was at taylor swift i mean taylor swift is universal and i say that as somebody who like i'm not a swifty like i'm such a swifty but like i had so much respect for that woman mm. if somebody offered me to and i've heard like her concert i heard was a complete spectacle like, so i literally cool. have never seen anything like it in my entire life so i'd absolutely go and i know enough of her songs and like enough of her songs that i'm sure she plays she, the bops it's yeah she plays all like yeah. the like really like classic everyone so those on the radio but then like also yeah not as but um that concert was like the most insane thing i've ever been to in my entire life so would you say because i remember when olivia rodrigo it's it's rodrigo right yeah Mm -hmm. when um she first what was that driver's license was her first song that really blew up yeah when that was happening i feel like i remember everyone comparing her to taylor swift Mm -hmm. would you as a big Taylor Swift fan, would you say that's a safe comparison? Or? I, for me, like, yeah. Because the way that I feel about, like, Olivia Rodrigo's music, mm-hmm. even now, but I think that, like, the way teenage girls probably feel about it <laughs> right now is, like, that's when I was in a breakup, 16 yeah. years old, sad in my car, boom, I'm throwing on the Taylor oh, Swift. Yeah. You know, and they're probably still throwing on Taylor Swift, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but... Um, Wildest also, dreams really got Oh, my me. God. Yeah. But there's so much, like... It's so sad to see, actually, like, there's so much, like, pitting women against each other. Like, people are trying to, like, create this narrative that, like, mm-hmm. Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo hate each other and, like, all this stuff. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it's just... Like, let's let people be. I don't know. I just... I love them man. both so much. I think that they're both so talented. Yeah. Um... But I think she will have a ton of success. Oh, I, she's yeah. just gonna be just Absolutely. out of this world. Um, but yeah, no one's doing it like Taylor right now. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's that woman. She is just took over the movie mogul. industry too. Yeah, beat what it, she beat Whatever. like all the, the all time records of like the pre sales and all yeah. that stuff. Yep, yeah, movies what are movie? changing. Yeah, I don't even movie. movies are changing their release so dates. that they don't yeah. compete with Taylor. Yeah, I'm like I have never. That's a, that's a smart business move. <laughs> I would be, I'd be, I'd move it a month out. I, yeah, I get uh, some space. Yeah, yeah, I would be like, I want Taylor out of the theaters before my movie comes out, <laughs> like because you just don't compete with that. But people, you know, you can love her, you can hate her, but no one is doing it like her right now, no. to be honest. And I don't see anyone doing it like her anytime soon. So, well, I feel like even if you hate your music, like you're a dummy if you can't recognize that she's an insane businesswoman. And so, I mean, for me, like at the concert, no joke. I was standing there, we were dancing, singing, and I kept having to sit down. I'm like, my fucking legs, my legs are killing me. Well, because she gets, she comes out, she gets through the first set, she sings, everyone's like screaming. You're out of breath from jumping and singing mm-hmm. and stuff. She goes through a few songs, and then she goes, How are we doing? That's like 30 minutes. And I'm like, How long was her fuck? set? She goes, Everyone ready for the next three and a half hours? She is no. up there for four hours. Four hours? Singing, sprinting back and forth on the stage, choreography. Like, I literally was having to sit down because my legs from standing in one spot were... <laughs> and she does it six nights in a row. SoFi Stadium. I want to know how she trains for that. Because I've seen a video of Miley Cyrus training, mm-hmm. like, where she's running on the treadmill and just belting music out. Yeah, I, I like, how even... does how do these artists... I think that's very fascinating. Like, how... You have to be so skilled. I, I will never understand it. And you, then you're dancing and how do you, then you're like, even, performing. How are you not one out of breath? How are you not forgetting choreography? How are you still running, dance? Like, I just could never. I don't. That's like a different oh. level of talent. But 
That is something though that like part of me just maybe for like one night like I just want to like switch bodies with like a performer like mm -hmm. that and just really understand Can what's imagine happening that feeling, here. Like yeah, even just like being up there would be just the craziest like. Like that's a lot of people because I so I still co-host the game awards. Mm -hmm. I do the pre-show and yeah. that's in like a theater of like a couple thousand people. Yeah. And, and it's crazy. Insane. It feels like when you're standing up there, it feels like it feels like a million people are all looking of Los at Angeles you. is yeah. looking at you. 100 percent And I can't imagine like actually having all <laughs> like of all of Los Angeles. Angeles like, yeah, like six literally all in a row. Of, yeah. Like also, like, what if she talked to her therapist about, you know? I, like I'm too successful. No, I'm like I'm too saying. good at I'm too good at everything. I don't like. But like, was, how do you not go crazy? Well, because did you, you see know? when she went to um, her producer's like wedding? No. Uh. -uh. She. They went to the wedding rehearsal and came out, and the streets were packed, and people were like peeking in the windows of this thing. I'm like, it's got to be so. And you could just see on her face, she was like, Ugh. like this is so inappropriate. It's like, yeah, she can't even like go do that without just people like flock. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, well, I spend like crazy. Um, I try to split as much of my time as I can in New York, right? Mm -hmm. And when I go to New York, I always stay in West Village. Yeah, and she, I guess, has a her Cornelia house. Street. So I didn't. I don't you... know that, but I usually am around Cornelia Street. Well, she'll never walk and... Cornelia Street again. It's one of her lyrics. <laughs> well, there's always people <laughs> taking pictures in front of this door. Yeah, and like uh, we would not, you know, not actually get upset, but we were almost every time me and Brandon would walk yeah. past it, we were always kind of like. What the is going on with the tourist door? attraction like, yeah. why do people like this door so much <laughs> yeah. and we finally asked somebody we're like hey like what are you taking a picture of and they were like oh, it's taylor swift's house and i was like this poor woman <laughs> but also why'd you buy a house in like one of the most populated area like that's such a tourist destination like yeah it's like a hot spot well she like used to live i don't think she lives oh, she there. so it's so they're taking a picture with her old house yeah i think so with like These her people are nuts because she wrote it about like her and like her boyfriend's like a love song like about like Cornelia Street, like living. Well, then now they're broke up. Okay, but the song is like, if we broke up, like I'd never walk Cornelia Street again. So then she just like. Sold I think her that's house. what it's about, and so now I, I bet she's not walking Cornelia Street. Well, I wouldn't either. There's tons of fans there. <laughs> she's gonna get like <laughs> dangerous. Absolutely. Yeah. So th speaking of danger, mm, well, <laughs> well, I can't go there. Or oh, well, I don't know where you're going. I'm no, just no, making no, no, your job. No. I was gonna you. go one deck one but, but you said danger and the first thing that came to my mind was Elon Musk's and Grimes' new kid's name. <laughs> danger, danger. Danger. No. Techno mechanicus. Is that correct? Is do we can we get a a check on techno mechanicus, That's please? That's just not a good name. <laughs> I don't care how many like I know. world changing companies you've I, owned or taken over or whatever, but that's not a good name. It's Techno Mechanicus. Techno Mechanicus. I gotta say it's better than their first. Well, that's their third kid. People didn't even realize they had a second one. I don't think. But Probably for the best. The first one, A X C. -E, that that was. There's that a was twelve in it, right? There's a twelve somewhere. I, I honestly I couldn't tell you. I, it's like I, X A E A dash twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a license plate. <laughs> this <laughs> child, that makes me sad. Well, I just, that's what, what do I Do they have like get. a nickname? They have to. Like you can't just say that you every know. time you need the I would child. assume that they they know the nickname, but. It's I like think they number their kids. Yeah. They definitely <laughs> yeah. do number not Number seven, them get over here now. <laughs> yeah. I think we have like one, huh? yeah, somewhere they have like a little branding. Oh, I thought branding. you said I had to in my head. I was like. <gasps> they have like a little branding on their shoulder like or something. 12, get over here. Yeah. I think they are numbered. Well, is it his like whole thing about like he wants to like repopulate the earth and all that shit? That's just a weird it's thing to say. Weird. No, he's like he's like obsessed with like repopulating. Like is like his like he talks about it all the time. Huh. Yeah, he is like. Oh, 11, I know yeah. he has a bunch of kids with like a bunch of different women, right? Because one of the women that I think maybe he has a kid with or was his former wife, she was in Westworld. Oh really? Yeah, she was. She's an actor, but she like Interesting. isn't in very many things. But I just know she's in Westworld. He's got a lot in of kids. I, and I feel like he's not like. You see some of these like actors, mm -hmm. they have kids with these like young people until they're like eighty years old. He's gonna have like thirty something. So maybe kids. he is. He's like going for the Nick Cannon. Play. He, I bet he has Nick Cannon beat. We just don't even know. Yeah. Uh, what? Okay. I get that money and power are really big to some people. And I don't have the same problems with Elon that I feel like, you know, a lot of people have a lot of problems with yeah. him. I don't think I'm not going to get into that. Yeah. Yeah. You're but just like, just put that aside is basically what I'm saying. Yeah. How is he getting all these women? It feels like he, he like he doesn't 
seem like a ladies' man per se. I and know. I would not say he is a looker. He scares me. He scares me. So he's there's an intensity there. There's something I don't know. Some, yeah, something. There's something so like, there. And I don't like it. <laughs> but okay, I'm trying to get in the head. Okay, so but also, however, Grimes I feel like can provide for herself. But I could see maybe being like, okay, well, if I have this billionaire's kid, seems so different. I feel like she would never even like think of it. Like I don't get. They just seem like I just don't get so it. So opposite. It's like I have scary. so many questions. But then maybe they aren't opposite. They say opposites attract, so maybe that's, I don't even know. I can't make excuses for her. <laughs> I tried, girl, I tried, but I can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, don't, I don't understand what's happening there. No. But they congratulations on Congratulations the on Technomechanicus. Technomechanicus. We'll send is that a hyphenate? Is that the first name? Or is Mechanicus the second name? First and middle, I think. Maybe they don't have a last name. Techno, first name, second name, Mechanicus. Mechanicus. <laughs> Sounds like a spell, doesn't it? Techno mechanicus. <laughs> right? Like Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then the other big news Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. I'm heartbroken. And I truly am heartbroken. I'm heartbroken, but now seeing how he's acting, I'm like, good for you, girl, this, get out. No, okay, this, this is what I'm so like, because I was like, Joe Jonas, I love the Jonas Brothers, I love Joe yeah. Jonas. And I, I am obsessed with Sophie Turner. She is mm -hmm. everything. Everything. What the? F what is this PR smear campaign that he's? I it's an interesting. Say, it's an interesting uh, play. That was whatever they were trying. Completely, I've never seen anything fail so miserably. And immediately too. It was within hours of those yeah. articles coming out. No, not a single person was on his side. Like I've never seen <laughs> something switch so fast, and it was just like. Obviously, like, we don't know anything, obviously. <laughs> I'm like, when I talked to Sophie last, guy, like, no, like, I don't know these people. But, um, and I don't know whose PR team did what. But I'm like, it just came off so shady. It was like, Sophie Turner out partying. And so what like, if? Well, she's like a 27-year-old woman. So, yeah, she can do, <laughs> like, it's. Wait, what if it was her? What if this is like a master? Okay, I'm on Sophie Turner's side. I really like her and I want her to be cool. It's like but an Uno reverse. I was gonna say, what if it was an Uno reverse and it was her team planting these stories against her to <laughs> like play the public? That'd be that would be insane. We need a documentary stat. <laughs> Stats. Honestly, if that came out, I don't think I'd even be mad. I would just you have to respect I'd be impressed. You have to respect it a little bit. I'd be impressed. Yeah, it's weird. And then I was I was watching this commentary TikTok on the situation and how somebody was like, oh, yeah, well, he always wanted to be cool. And Sophie Turner is obviously so cool. She's, she's very like effortlessly cool. The cool girl. She's yeah. so effortlessly like she could do anything. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can you believe she went right? to Domino's? <laughs> like, like I, well, I, I have to get Domino's. <laughs> she like chugged a beer at a hockey game. Yeah. And I was like. I can't, oh God, like, so oh cool. my gosh, groundbreaking. I need to go to a hockey game. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> groundbreaking. Um, <laughs> but just that, like, he wants to be cool, and so he married, like, the cool girl, but then it, like, didn't rub off on him. And he's, like, still, <laughs> it like, doesn't not mean you're cool. cool just because you married the cool girl. <laughs> but a lot of times, like, actually, like, I feel like men who do that, it's because they have, like, a deep-seated insecurity, right? And yeah. then, like, that never really goes away. And then your cool girl or, like, cool wife at this point just keeps getting cooler and they, like, can't handle it. Yeah, it's like she's not going to stop getting even cooler. She's just perfect. I just yeah. – so I don't she's know. She's never done anything wrong in her life, and I stand by that. <laughs> I feel don't. bad for the kids, though. I, it's good that they're young enough that they yeah. can't see, like, what's happening and hopefully won't remember or yeah. look it I mean, up. it's it'll blow, blow over, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, it'll be – but it's just really sad. Yeah. But – I loved them. Their their Halloween costume, the Adams family. Oh, I don't think I saw that. <gasps> Iconic. I, don't what? I didn't see it. She was like Morticia Adams. She oh, like, she looks so good. It was Morticia Adams. Oh, okay. I will have to hair. show yeah. you after this because it is the it's like when I think of them, I think of that. I'm like, wow, like they look good. They look so good. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But now they're done. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if have you ever heard Hesitate? I'm like is that a, Jonas Brothers? Yeah. He I like, only know Year 3000. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. Well, isn't that's there something like, about like the grandpa? He says something about something a grandpa. about being underwater. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, okay. hesitate. He wrote, Joe wrote about mm -hmm. Sophie and then he had a concert and like had to play the song and he was like, like, I was like, oh, it's Oof. sad, it's Oof. sad. But the song, if you haven't heard, hesitate. Oh my God. 
don't hesitate to listen. Don't hesitate to listen to it because it is really a great song. Oh. Very sad. Are they still them. putting out new music? Jonas Brothers? Yeah, I think so. Oh. See, okay. He, one last thing on the Joe Jonas cool, yeah. cool girlfriend train. Yeah. You will, like, there is a peak of how cool you can be if you are putting out music under the moniker Jonas Brothers. Jonas Brothers. Like, you can only be so cool. <laughs> He's not going to excel past the No, point. you can't get past that. The Joe Bros. The Joe Bros. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the Jonas Brothers, no. but, like, as a member of the Jonas Brothers, you're just not going to be I mean, as cool as Sophie Turner ever. Taylor Taylor Swift really, un, or from the vault, she, when he, she put out... um the re-recorded version of Speak Now. Uh, her, her, she released a song about Joe Jonas that she had wrote when they dated, and it's titled Mr. Perfectly Fine. And I think that that is just mm. enough said, mm. and I'll just leave it at that. Because Sophie Turner's perfect. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I'm like going to bat for her like for my life. I am like... <laughs> Someone in my mm. chat like said something. I was like, no. I was like, don't speak about Sophie Turner. <laughs> I, just I do really it. like her. Huh? I do really like her. Too. Are you a Game of Thrones girl? I mean, like everybody. I was until the last season. Fair enough. Mm. I can't. I won't shame you for it. I love Game of Thrones. Did you like life. the last season? I didn't like it, but I'm not like. You're I've not- watched Game of Thrones seven times through. And I, you watched the last season? Yeah. I'm oh obsessed my gosh. with it. It's, wow. it's like my obsession. And for me, I feel like a lot of people just like wrote off the entire show, like because which was that. like the best TV of all time just because they didn't like the last season, which fair enough if you didn't like the last season. But it was so amazing, that show. That the I'm show like, was really good. I'm like, guys, like what, what about everything else? Like, hello? Like, and so I... I am okay. still, I'm still like, I'm Game a lover. And now we got House of Dragon. I love that. Oh, see, I haven't, I've <gasps> been, I haven't been watching TV. So I haven't really been watching anything. I've mostly been watching movies and like yeah. catching up on my backlog. Um, well, there won't be. <laughs> so like, I know where you're going. I can go like, back to TV. I can catch up on my TV. Yeah. It's, it's like a. Balance it out. Yeah, balance it out. Did you watch Severance? No. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's the most that's, recent TV that I finished. I was told that I need to it's watch that. So, Brooke, it is. Oh, I actually no. I watched the first episode and then Mason said I'm bored. <laughs> and then he p- puts on some football show or some shit like that. Did you play a uh, control? Oh my gosh! No. What is that? Um, it's I think Remedy put it out in 2018 or 2019. Oh. The story game um, where you play as this lady. It's a third person shooter, and the combat is so good. Really? It's probably one of the best story games I've played in. <gasps> my adult life is so good. I love it's a little games. spooky. That's but fine, it, we but it's not scary. No. It's spooky, but not scary. That's fine. I, um, yeah. But basically, you find this like government agency mm-hmm. that like the general public doesn't know about, okay. and it's been kind of like at- attacked by something, and um, the agency deals with like what would that be called? Like paranormal things uh-huh. and like space type things. Yeah. And so you're kind of uncovering what happened to it and like why you were able to see it, but nobody else can see it. Interesting. And so it's kind of like a mystery. It's and really it's a story. Good. It's, it's super like a, fun. It's yeah. like a story. Okay. Mm-hmm. I need what's it called? Control? Control. Yeah. But the vibes of control are like creatively, I could see control having influenced how Severance looks. Not necessarily a story. That at kind all, of like but it's like a very similar, almost like into the back mid century black, <laughs> like, that like kinda, yeah. dark. Yeah, vibe. It's creepy. Like, yeah, it's very good. I, the speaking of into the back, I, the game into the back rooms. Oh, I never played that. It sounds stressful. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> I, I can't even think about it. It's just like it, it was torture. Yeah. I've never played a game like that. You played that. on stream. Yeah, never again. I. Is it like liminal space type vibes or like yeah. what's yeah the, what's uh, what's wait what's scary? I know it's creepy, but like because it's like it's like the back room. So you know what the back rooms is yeah. like that whatever and you're just like going around but like you turn a corner and there's like a creature that's like no like and then it starts like crawling <laughs> after you and you have to run and then you like close yourself in a room and there's bodies no oh my god it's just like one thing after another and then there you get you finally finish then there's a new level and it's like a different monster that's like on all f- oh I, I hate when things crawl i don't like crawling i don't like zombies oh i don't god. like i, feel I don't like anything that doesn't understand like personal space thank you <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't like when I'm getting chased. Yeah. I don't like getting chased. And that's like my like in scary games when things are running after me, I just lose it. I'm like, get, I'm like, with you. Get away. I can't do it. I don't have a sword. I don't have anything. I just have to run. Like phasmophobia. <laughs> they're like, go hide. I'm like, no. Like, I, <laughs> I don't want to. They, they find, so I always die because whenever like the lights start flickering and someone's the ghost chasing me, I just. I take my hands <laughs> off my keyboard and I just hide. And so I'll, my character will be like in the middle of the room with the flashlight like, <laughs> looking straight up. My my friends, friends, that doesn't sound like a good strategy. <laughs> no, my friends are like, get in a closet, turn the flashlight off and don't make a noise. I'm like, too much. That's too much for me. And then I, I just like stay in the van and I'm like, yep, he's on the cameras, guys. He's there. I see him. <laughs> my stream is like, go in the house. <laughs> I'm like no <laughs> yeah when i used to stream more i used to we were like playing through resident evil 7 oh well, but only as like charity it was only for charity yeah. um not even like for the charity stream it was only if we hit the yeah like, oh, donation yeah. goal oh yeah and um <laughs> I, I can't even i don't offer that anymore no <laughs> that's no longer an option nope Mm-hmm. Only if I can get somebody to play with me and I'll have them either do the control and then I'll have like the sound on yeah. or we'll switch. Like switch, I can't yeah. do both. Yeah. It's, that's what Mason tried I and mean, I tried one time was like someone does the key and someone does the mouse. Yeah. It's oh, like, that yeah. sounds yeah. frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because you're like, go, no, go the other way. Like, yeah. It's just like you get very, very angry with each other. <laughs> yeah. So scary games are fun and it's almost spooky season. I know. It's like fall almost. I know. Like, I want cold weather. I want rain. That's what I really want. Oh, my God. I want rain. <laughs> what? I want, oh, I'm, a, I'm a rain girl. I love the rain. I could oh. just sit, open my window and listen to it, read a book and be cozy. Oh, my God. I could oh. just cry thinking about I it. I can do that for, like, 48 hours. Oh, okay. See, I'm from Oregon. So, like, that's, like, nine months out of my year. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, I can't. It's, like, a full nine months. Because I'm into it for a second where I'm, like, oh, wow, this is cute and fun. It's and a vibey. Like, wow. No. Yeah. And then I'm, like, okay, I'd like to go outside and I'd like to go surfing. Yeah. No. And, like, for surfing, you're supposed to wait. I think it's, like, 36 hours after really? rain. So, um, because it might just be the spots that I surf, but I think it's kind of across the board because mm-hmm. it drains to the ocean. Right. So, like, there's a bunch of shit in the ocean. Yeah. And then, like, you can get, inf- like, infections right. and stuff. It's like you don't want the trash. Well, cause, yeah. Because in Oregon, people surf a lot up there. Mm-hmm. But I think it's also probably different because it's, like, California is disgusting. Like, there's, like, trash. Like, yeah. Like, Oregon's, like, very, like, if I, this was my biggest, like, culture shock moving. And just, like, whenever I go anywhere, honestly, in Oregon, if you, like, litter, oh, my God. Like, if you. One time our friends, we were like driving and someone put their cup out the window and we <gasps> all literally like, <gasps> we like well, stopped the car and like got out. Like that is like a do that? sin. Like you don't, you don't do that. And here you just see people all the time just throwing things on the ground. I'm like, that that's illegal. No, 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 no. You're going to jail. Like I like. To be I, fair, it always is shocking to me when people litter. I'm like. Because it's just like not that hard not to do. It is not hard. Just find a trash can. They're, like it's not rocket science. You especially know? in LA, trash cans are everywhere. Or just like keep it in your car and like. Oh yeah, apartment. if you're in a car and you're throwing things out the window, or like put it in your purse or like put it in your pocket. Like I just don't really like I just don't really get I don't get the I don't get the thought. I'm going to say something. You know, we didn't spin hot take. I think that littering shows a low like low intelligence. I think that you're just like a bad person and yes, you're not very smart because it literally takes the smallest amount of effort to not toss it out your window. Well, and I think it's like just like a complete disregard for one, like nature. So mm-hmm. you're not thinking about, you're not forward thinking no. about, oh, wow, this one piece of trash will have like an impact on other people. Yeah. It'll have an impact on Mother Earth. Yes. Like it's so selfish. When, and then you can't come up with any creative problem solving solutions no. as to what to do with your trash that isn't putting it on the ground for somebody else's problem. Shame on you. Shame. If you litter, shame on you. Shame. Shame. And I hope you feel the shame. Um, okay, we have literally, you have to come back because we have just talked for like, <laughs> what, like well over an hour and I feel like we didn't even scratch the surface. So <laughs> the good news is I'm going on your podcast yes, next. So, yes, so, you are. So we'll continue. Yes, we will continue yeah. this conversation mm-hmm. and tell them where they can watch yeah. that. Um, so you can watch Glad I Asked on YouTube, 
I say TikTok, you can't watch. Well, there is a TikTok handle and you can watch okay, short good. form. Love that. Um, but you can listen to the full episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Amazing. And where yeah. can people just find you on regular socials? Um, I'm everywhere. <laughs> uh, no, Sid So Good is my handle because my last name is Goodman. So it's like <gasps> Sid Good, Ooh. Sid So Good. Clever. Um, uh, it's because... <laughs> Well, we're wrapping up real fast. I had no, Sid yeah, Good, you're good. right? Yeah, I had yeah. Sid Good, and then I deleted my account in high school. Mm -hmm. And I thought that Instagram would re-release it, but it takes 30 days for that to release. Oh. And so I couldn't get it back, but I was just trying to clear the people that were following yeah. me. So Sid So Good was born. It's, um, it's so catchy. It's right? so good. Yeah. So Sid So Good on every platform, uh, Snapchat as well. Love it. Big on Snapchat. Ooh, um, okay, Snapchat. But, yeah, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok. Yeah. The Amazing. Yeah. Thanks right. for having me, Yes, Brooke. of course. Thank you so much Yay, for coming on. I'm fun. sure I, I need you to come back. I mean, perfect. we could talk for days. So, <laughs> Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you guys leave a like, a comment. Give us some stars if you're on Spotify or wherever you are listening from. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.